Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. Today, we're going to look at Christmas with Southern Living 2023, inspired ideas for holiday cooking and decorating. Southern Living is a lifestyle magazine that celebrates the legendary food, gracious homes, lush gardens, and distinct places that make the South unique. While every issue is a treat, their Christmas publications are especially delightful. From the editors of this inspirational lifestyle magazine, Christmas with Southern Living 2023 is a collectible holiday book filled with sparkling recipes, festive ideas for entertaining, decorating, and gathering with friends and family. In this newest edition, the experts at Southern Living bring you a fresh collection of modern menus, easy decor ideas, and more than 100 brand new recipes from the chefs of the South's most trusted kitchen. For more than 40 years, Christmas with Southern Living has been a trusted resource for holiday cooks, crafters, decorators, and hosts with mouth-watering menus, magical spaces, and decorating ideas. The creative menus featured in the book are aimed toward both casual and formal gatherings with inspired ideas from invitations, gifts, and setting tables. And it even features helpful planning tips that take the guesswork and stress out of holiday entertaining. You are invited into several private homes, many of which belong to Southern Living's very own photo stylists, as they share their unique holiday traditions and the creative ways they choose to deck their very own halls. The editors of Southern Living provide a holiday planner that helps keep you organized with lists for holiday cards, gifts, make-ahead meals, easy decorating ideas, and even reminds us to take a moment and enjoy the beauty of the season.
Catherine Cobbs, the executive editor at Southern Living, writes in the introduction, The holidays are here, and of course, we've been decking the halls, cooking Christmas feasts, and whipping up batch after batch of cookies. Our team's planning and preparation for this book started at the first blush of summer. We hope you find as much inspiration and joy in the pages of this book as we did in the process of making it. This book was indeed lovely to look at. I found the holiday planning guides and resources very helpful. The recipes were numerous, as were the photographs of these delectable dishes. If you lean more toward all things culinary, you will enjoy this book. If you favor the decorative side of Christmas, this volume may leave you wanting more. I was able to find a copy of this book on Amazon for $14, and for the recipes alone, it was well worth that. Christmas with Southern Living 2023 by the editors of Southern Living Magazine. This book is 192 pages. It is published by Abrams, and it retails at I hope everyone had a wonderful and peaceful Thanksgiving. And now that it's officially after Thanksgiving, I can begin decorating the exterior of my home for Christmas. I did refrain until now, as there is a bit of a social stigma associated with jumping into Christmas before Thanksgiving. And I understand this. It's my inner child that encourages me to decorate early. I do have a childlike enthusiasm when it comes to all things Christmas. It's not only my faith and the true meaning of Christmas that makes me love this holy season, but it's also the joy and the nostalgia that go with it. The recollections of Christmas's past and the special people that dominate those sweet memories, my father and my grandparents especially. My father had a voice that sounded like Johnny Cash. It was deep and commanded attention, while at the same time, it was sweet and comforting. He would sing every Christmas song that played on the radio or the television. In the 1970s and 80s, there were so many great Christmas specials on TV. And as a family, I think we watched every one. Dean Martin, Andy Williams, Bob Hope, and Bing Crosby, to name a few. These are golden nuggets of a bygone era that I still recall decades later. My husband and I make a point to watch as many of these as we can every Christmas. You can find many of them on YouTube. And of course, my brother and I always had our favorites, and the TV guide was always marked when the little drummer boy, the Grinch, or Frosty the Snowman was scheduled to air. To this day, my brother will text me every Christmas 
when Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer comes on television. If you had a favorite Christmas special, I'd love to know what it was. Let me know in the comments. Last year, I made a pomander fruit tree, much like this one, although mine was much smaller. I used a styrofoam base. It was very easy to assemble, but because it was not as strong as a wooden base, I was unable to attach a pineapple to the top. This year, I purchased a wooden base with nails already attached so that I could use a pineapple. I used oranges for one and apples for another. I'm going to build a pomander tree using the styrofoam base. And as I use the wooden base, I'm just going to make a fruit topiary. I hope you are inspired to make one. They smell wonderful and they make beautiful centerpieces. This is the one I made last year, and I'll also share the two that I made this year. I was able to find the wooden bases on eBay at a reasonable price. I will leave that information in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will join me next week as we look at The New Elegance by Timothy Corrigan with Michael Boudreaux, and we'll also take a quick tour of my interior Christmas decor.